in honor of the great Alex Trebek. This is how you play the theme to Jeopardy on the guitar. We're going to use harmonics for the whole song, so if you don't know what harmonics are, this is not the lesson for you. Also, there's a lag in the video, and I don't know how to get rid of that, so it's alright. So uh, let's just dive on in, shall we? So we're going to start with harmonics um, on the D string, on the 4th string. And we're going to go 7-5-7. Seven, seven. So got that. Then the 12th fret twice. And then 7-5-7 seven, seven again. So let's go through that again. So 7-5-7, 12-12-7. Now, if you need to review any of this or it's moving quickly, just stop it, rewind it, and go through that part again. The next part of the song is going to go 7, 5, 7, and then 5 and 4. So we're like this. 7, 5, 7, 5, 4. So we'll do that again. 7, 5, 7, 5, 4. Then we go to the A string, 3rd fret, 5th fret on the D, 4th fret on the A, and then 3rd fret on the low E. So, 3rd uh, fret A string, 5th fret D, 4th fret A, 3rd fret uh, G, low E string. So now if we play that second part going 7, 5, 7, 5, 4, and then the A string, D string, A string, low E part, it goes like this. Now I know sometimes harmonics on the 3rd fret and 4th fret aren't as loud as the other harmonics, which are like 5th fret, 7th fret, and 12th fret. The ones on the 5th fret, 7th fret, and 12th fret are really forgiving. The ones on the 4th fret and 3rd fret are not so forgiving. And if you're like me, there's times where you'll just be noodling and you're playing perfect. And then when you actually go to show somebody or record it and you're like, hey, look what I can do. It's like they never existed and they don't turn out right. And you're like, why? So you're not alone in that, um, if you feel that way. But practice also helps if you have nails. I don't really have nails. I have short nails because mine always break. But um, that'll help you. So now moving on to the next part, we're going to go, it's kind of like the intro almost. We just, we're going to go 7, 5, 7, 12, 12, 7, 5, 7. So that should be familiar. Let's do that again. So. Now the last part of the song, we're going to go 5th fret on the D, then we go 7th fret on the low E string, 5th fret on the A string, so let's try that from that 5th fret note on the D string, 7th fret low E, 5th fret A, then 12th fret on the G, 4th fret on the D, 7th fret on the A, and then 12th fret on the D to finish. So the last part of that song, starting from that 5th fret, goes like this. Now you could also do this on the bass, I might do this on the bass at some point, but hopefully that helps you. Like I said, if you uh, need to review a part, just rewind it. Good luck with that, um, and uh, yeah, it's a cool, cool theme to play. You can play it if you're in a band on stage and you know, you're waiting for somebody to finish tuning or something. I don't know. Um, good luck.